Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree, and we are into July. So this is the July freebie for the Forever Tag Journal. If you're following along, this is what we're making this year. So far, I totally love what is going on with this. So hopefully you're building one as well. So for July, we have corals and pinks and some bright colors. So we've got our two main big tags, bunch of little cutouts, and the flower for this month is water lily. And they do come in a variety of colors. So, and of course, we've got the birds, the butterflies, the bees, our month and the written date, etc. Lots of special goodies for you to uh, cut out and use. And then we've just got a bunch of journal cards and our little saying, if you are not barefoot, then you are overdressed. And lots of special cutouts. And the paper is this beautiful corals with some pale stripes in it. But that is our four page kit for July. I am going to cut this out and ink everything and then I'll come back and we will put our tag together for our forever tag journal. Okay, so I got all my stuff cut out and I inked it all. I didn't cut out everything because I'm not going to use everything. So I've got my couple pieces of fabric. I've also got a paper clip because I'm going to make a paper clip. So this is where we're at with this. Now, before, let's. We got our two main tags. And when I made this, I put a little flip on the bottom and the top of the two small tags because I'm going to make these flips. Now you can, I cut mine a little bit wider than what I actually did. It's not really important. You're not going to see that anyways. But I want to glue these on before or I put my tags together because I want this to be like that. I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue. Okay. And let's just put some glue right on the bottom here. This way this will be hidden in between the two Oops, the two tags. And let's get that as best as we can in the middle. And fold that over. And let's hope that's eh, not bad. Okay, let's put the other one on. And this one I'm going to do from the top. Now, I did one on the bottom and the top, just so you can decide which way you want these. And if you don't want them at all, you can just cut them off, and they'll be like a normal tag. Okay. So this one will be this way. And you could do them both at the bottom, both at the top. One reason I did one on the top, one at the bottom, because that's a little bit less bulk in one place. If we had both of these in one place, then it would be a little bit thicker because you'd have an extra piece of cardstock there. Okay, just gonna. Make sure those are ink good. Okay, now they are ready to glue on to here. 
let's put these two pieces on and I try to leave I don't know eighth of an inch of that so be something like that and now let's put some glue right here I'll readjust that in a minute I guess I put the glue on a little too far that's okay better too much than not enough okay and then just trying to get the right placement of the glue over here I really do like this tab binding. I am going to do a journal at some point with the tab binding. I really like how it goes together. Okay, now let's try to keep that. Oh, I guess I better glue down this side. Okay, now we need to really make sure that this is where we want it. It seems to be going good, leaving about an eighth of an inch. I think when I did my first one, I think I did it the width of my ruler. Okay, let's get this glue on here actually really is um, normally if I was doing this I would oops, I would get right over top of it and look down but with the camera here it's a little bit harder to look right down on it Not unless I want you guys to see my wonderful hairdo. Okay, now this one is going to go on top. So let's get this glued down. I sure hope that you're following along and making one of these as well with the freebies. But there's so many things a person can do with the freebies not just make this forever tag journal you could just make tags for your projects or whatever whatever you think use all the little cutouts and whatnot just gonna put a little extra glue on the fabric as always okay now let's glue this down I'm going to turn this sideways and just glue it as even as I can on there. So far we've been pretty lucky on lining everything up. Let's see, what do we got here, happening here? Okay. I think it's just because th this piece is like that little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. So there's our main thing. And that'll be flippy floppy on there. Yeah, I kind of forgot when I did this here, I should have, it is going to bind a little bit there. One thing to consider when you do have things like that is to leave that little bit extra room. But I think once it's glued down, it'll be okay. or once the glue is settled. 
Yeah, that ended up a little bit too close. But I think that'll be okay. Because it's going to go that way anyway. So that'll be all right. So, um, caution, just make sure you leave enough room. Okay, now... What I want to do is I'm going to make a paper clip and I'm going to use these here as a paper clip. Now when I did this, when I made this kit, I didn't think of this, but being that I do like to do sometimes two things and make them kind of going the opposite way. So this way I can, you can back them back to back like that. So I'm glad I did that. Now this is going to go, and a hidden paper clip, I just got two little pieces of cardboard. I want them to fit behind here, but I'm going to now trim these here just a bit. Just like that. Now I hope. Let's give her a try. I, I hope it works. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the paper clip and then going to get those edges good. And let's put this one on here. Now I want it, I want the paper clip as close to the end as I can. Because I don't want it to stick out. I don't plan on gluing anything to, or like putting ribbon on it or whatever. Although you totally could. Okay. I want to make sure that that's down really, really good. And now this one's going to go on top of there. So let's just add a little bit of glue to the paper clip. And this is the edge I want to get really good. Because that's where the paper's going to go, get pushed in or in between and let's match that up the best we can now I did hand cut these so of course they're not going to be perfect but I think that's pretty good let's make sure we've got all that down nice and tight sure that the glue is being good and now this is going to go onto here now I could do this on the side which actually isn't going to work because it's going to end up on there so it's going to have to go on the top or the bottom which is okay it could go right on the top and that's going to hold those in place that'll work okay Take that off for a second. Now, we've got some goodies here that I decided I was going to put on. Um, I was going to put this, I think. I've got that and I've got my date. Um the date up there so let's put this on the bottom here 
I like to um, fill up the papers with little cutouts and whatnot. No use in wasting paper. And we can all use little cutouts for all kinds of things. I want that to go fairly close to the bottom. Okay. There is that. And let's put the bird up here. Okay, so we don't want nothing on this end of the wing because it's going to stick out just a tiny little bit. And by giving lots of little extra cutouts and stuff, you can kind of decorate it to be your own. Everybody's won't be the same. I'll kind of put that bird right there. And having the pieces glue on, I think it just gives that little bit extra. Um, what do we got here? Okay, let's... I'm thinking I'm just putting a bumblebee on here. I wonder if we should be down here. Let's put them right about there somewhere. But the freebies are on coffee. On coffee you can get JPEG and PDF versions. Facebook there is only the PDF. It's still free on coffee. Okay, let's turn this over so we can do this sign. So I'm thinking of this up here. Got the butterfly too. And a bee. I cut that out a second bee. Oops. Um, yeah, let's do that. Kind of be the similar as the front. Now you could hold down these flaps with a magnet with Velcro dots. Um, just a, a plain paper clip that's not even decorated. You could do all kinds of things to hold it down. I just thought of a paper clip, so I wasn't really thinking, though I can't really put it on the side. But that's okay because it'll work out. Okay, let's put that bee right there and this butterfly up here. I'm really enjoying this year's freebies. I'm just loving this tag journal. Let's just put it right kind of in there. Yeah, I just love the way it's coming together. Now we got these here. These are four little cards that come in the kit and I'm thinking well they can just sit right under here and they can just sit there and relax until you want a journal on the back of them I'm not sure how this side is going to stay in there. I don't want to push it too far up. 
That one there could go up, but I don't want this to stick out the side, like out here. So let's, okay. Sometimes we never know how things are going to turn out until we actually have them done. Let me turn this over. And this is one of those times. Okay, let's see. Not the paper clip. Looks kind of funny having a leaf way up at the top. Okay, might have to figure something else out for these. Oh, because I missed that. Okay. Let's see. So there we've got it. Oops. What do we got going on here? Okay. So that goes that way and that goes that way. And so there we have. And those are going to fall out. That one there will stay in. Let's see what we can do. Let's take these, or at least one of them. And let's add a little bit of ink. Maybe we can add that to here. I think that'll be okay sideways. So let's just, we're going to make this as a little stopper. Hold on, I got a better idea. What if we used one of these little flowers? Let's quickly revamp our plan we're just going to cut this out even though i kind of had it all planned out it didn't really work out to plan that's okay it's nice to be able to change our minds and revamp things, make them work. Because sometimes we just never know what's going to work and not work until we're actually doing the project. There we go. That's, that's done. Let's put some ink around there. All that we need is something little to stop those from falling out the bottom. So if we just glue the bottom of this, maybe a quarter of an inch or so, and then that's going to go right in the middle, right there. Now that now stops those from falling out. This side here, they're not going to fall out. They will kind of wiggle side to side. But, you know, you don't necessarily need it on there. Or like need the cards in there. I think it'll be fine though. We got that. We got that there. We'll hold that in. The little one is just 
pushed up into the paper clip. Maybe just a paper clip would be um, good for just along the side here. Do I have another one? Here's one right here. Sort of. That one there is in a little bit rough shape. Let's see. We happen to have another one here. So a paper clip, just a normal paper clip right there will solve all the issues. So for now, we're going to leave that there, the paper clip there. So there we have July. And I like the colors. This can go at a bit of an angle. So there is our July to go with the rest. Our little journal is coming, whoops, coming along awesome. All those wonderful colors and themes. It's kind of the same thing. They all have butterfly, birds, bees, flowers. And then each one kind of has a color theme. But I think it's looking awesome. Now which way do we fold it? And there we have July. We are a little over halfway, so it's going to be a little bit chunky once we're done. But the nice thing about this is it can get chunky, and as long as we leave enough room, I see now looking back, I see I put this one fairly close. And then this one I put a little bit too close. So something to really keep in mind. Give yourself that little bit extra. I think you're better off with too much than not enough. So that's a good, that's a good. This one here seems to be a, a really good width. Looking at what's in there. This one here is pretty good too. But then this one and the last one. So note to self, leave a little bit more room. Hope you like july check out the links um rush on over and grab the freebies um lots of other freebies on the facebook group and on coffee so um go and get those as well and yeah have fun with it and i would love to see what you make using the freebie kits because i just I love seeing what people make. So take care and we'll see you again soon in another video. Bye.